a sad thing that people got to go to this, you know, just move out. That's all we ask for, just move out. A home in East Haddam is destroyed by fire, and tonight the owners are blaming their tenant. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cologne shares the bold accusations. The state fire marshal has been here all day trying to determine the cause of this fire, but I spoke to the homeowners and they tell me this fire was intentional. This is what residents on Falls Road went face to face with around 2.30 in the morning. Pretty terrifying because the, that's all you could feel is the extreme heat. You didn't want to think of it being that far across the street. Steven Stankowski tells me the flames were shooting out of the windows. The ashes were landing on his house. He even tried using his hose to control the flames. From my house, I could feel it. I was trying to water it down because I could see the ashes and the embryos coming from the home over onto my property. So I was very, uh, you know, worried about catching my house on fire. The fire was a surprise to neighbors, but not for the homeowners who tell us they were threatened a few months ago by their tenant. That um, he was going to burn it down and that him and my husband could share the um, insurance. Cindy Miller says the tenant hasn't paid the bills and she even went through the legal process to get him out, but no luck. We had him served in October and then we had to serve him again in November. So he just got his papers t on Tuesday to evict. Police have not blamed anyone or released the cause for the fire, but they confirm a male who resided on the second floor was located without any injuries. Pay for the crime he committed. You know, he did the crime, you know, that's got to do the time. The East Haddam Fire Marshal's Office is working with the Connecticut State Police Fire and Explosion Investigation Unit to determine what happened this morning. For any updates on that investigation, we'll have them posted on the Channel 3 app. In East Haddam, Christian Colon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.